no one wants to get a cold, but scientists at the Ottawa Hospital are about to start intentionally giving the virus to some patients. They want to see if it can help attack cancer cells. Human trials will test their strategy, which combines two different viruses. Our medical sciences correspondent Kelly Crow has that story. Using viruses to fight cancer. It's a quest that started more than a century ago when scientists noticed that patients with leukemia improved after they got sick with something else. 100 years later, scientists are genetically engineering viruses to better target cancer cells. And that means the quest to harness the cancer-killing power of viruses is almost a reality. At this point, there are at least nine anti-cancer viruses in various clinical trials worldwide, including measles and herpes virus against multiple myeloma, the polio virus against brain cancer, and variations of the common cold virus against bladder and other cancers. It's only in about the last 10 years we've understood enough about cancer biology and virus biology and, and genetics to be able to actually engineer viruses that could work. So this year, counting the good news, the treatments seem safe. The viruses have had their disease-causing properties muted, so the side effects are similar to ordinary flu. But the bad news, so far they're not as effective against cancer as originally hoped. The big problem, how to get the virus to the tumor and how to keep the immune system from attacking the virus before it has a chance to work. Today in Ottawa, researchers announced a new Made in Canada approach using two different viruses. One virus is a version of the common cold. The other comes from Brazilian sand fleas. Used together, they will try to kill cancer cells and try to prompt the immune system to kill cancer too. I'm very excited about this trial because it's I think just it the beginning of the first human trials, just nine people so far, and it's a process that will take years. I don't think we're trying to raise people's hopes here unnecessarily. We're trying to say there are advancements being made, and this is an example of something that they've funded and supported that's gotten all the way to, to human testing and hopefully much beyond that. It's expected the viral therapies will be used along with traditional cancer treatments and one of the first to hit the market could be approved later this year. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.